Hi everyone, this is Way March, and today I have another Latin textbook. This is the Oxford Latin course, and um, this time it's going to be a little different because this, this book is actually vandalized. It's been written on by who knows who, um, because I found this book in the back old high school classroom and it has writing from students past and I'm sure this is probably from like the early 2010s because of the um, fail boat <laughs> I'm assuming and they keep using the words epic fail like no one says that anymore <laughs> and also I'm pretty sure fail boat is a streamer <laughs> like plays video games so let's see, uh, we have our first written thing here, we have the conjugated forms of esse to be, sum es est, sumus est is sunt. And I will be skipping some pages because the, I, I know um, beforehand that there are some like racist things. <laughs> That somebody wrote in here, so I'm gonna skip those. But um, I will also look at the textbook itself. Let's see, there's a pronunciation guide so you can pronounce Latin properly. And we can translate some stuff here. Quintus est puer Romanus. Quintus is a Roman boy. Quintus in Apulia habitat. Quintus lives in Apulia. Apulia est in Italia. Apulia is in Italy. Scintilla est femina romana. In casa laborat. Scintilla is a Roman woman. She is working in the house. Horatia puella romana est. In casa cana. Uh, Horatia is a Roman girl. She is eating dinner in the house. We can see here, this is very similar to, um, let's say, similar to the uh, Cambridge Latin course in its structure. Scintilla in casa laborat. Essa est Horatia in casa intrat. Die una est. Sed cana non parata est. Scintilla est dinat et mox cana est parata. Et ke inquit cana est parata. Puella laita est. Ad mensum est dinat et avida canet. Avide canat. Postri die scintilla ad tabernas ambulat. Horatia in casa laborat. Mox scintilla redit et in casa mintrat. Et ke parata est cana. Scintilla laita. So that says, Scintilla is working in the house. She's tired. Horatia enters into the house. She is hungry, but dinner is not prepared yet. Scintilla hurries, and soon dinner is prepared. Look, she says, dinner is prepared. The girl is happy. She hurries to the table and um, greedily eats dinner. The next day, Scintilla walks to the tavern, or the uh, shops. Um, Horatia is working in the house. Soon, Scintilla returns and enters the house. Look, dinner is prepared. Scintilla is happy. This person highlighted this entire page, basically here. A highlighting going on. I'm sure they have something to study here. I'm not going to be reading every single one of these, but you know, just the ones that stick out the most to me.
let's see. Mm -hmm. And if I see any uh, curse words, I'm just you're gonna see them on the page, but I'm not going to uh, say them because I'm trying to get monetized one day. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not gonna read that. I had to skip one of the pages. Oh, it says here. <laughs> it says, yes, OMG, girls. Let's get naked. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Let's speed it up a little. Ah, you see, this person is um, trying to write their translation over the um, over the text. Ah, this is. I like this page. You see, there's such a contrast in the art. We have these really nicely drawn pictures, and then we have those ones that look like this. <laughs> such a contrast. And this one says it's you. Um, I don't think I look like this guy. <laughs> we go home. Soon we shall die well. <laughs> it's a fishy. Look at how tiny Jimmy is. Everyone points and laughs. <laughs> this guy. Did they... Did they draw, like, a you-know-what on this dude? That's funny. I swear it was this big. <laughs> These kids writing in this textbook. Does that say? Okay. <laughs> it says, have you ever heard the song I'm a Gangster by Josh Tobin? No, I've never heard that song. We have an epic fail right here and the, uh, the A word and the F word right there. Um, it says, I had it on my desk. Could read this one, even though this has nothing to do with the with Troy just yet. I think they just start uh, mentioning the Aeneid. It's pretty early to uh, start talking about literature, but you know, Quintus canem in agrum docit et patrem salutat. Quintus leads the dog into the field and greets. Pater et filius ab agro cum cane domum redeunt. The father and the son, with the dog, return home from the field. Oh, well, I guess that would be like the father and the son return home from the field with the dog. In via quintus multos comites videt, ili omnes eum salutat. In the street, Quintus sees many of his friends. All of them greet him. Pater canem domum docit, sed quintus cum comitibus ludit. The father leads the dog home, but Quintus is playing with his friends. You can see there's a lot more of these highlighting things. They already start talking about the Iliad. It's quite early, I think. I don't think I got to start reading literature until at least my third year in Latin. They drew glasses on this person. Guys, that's gonna be me in a few years. I'm gonna be this guy. Like, I'm gonna be the one saying, like, Nolite ludere poeli sed audite. Like, I'm gonna be that person.
I see somebody made a mistake here. Look at them go. They're all pulling the, uh, the Trojan horse. Although, technically, it is a Greek horse because uh, they they brought it. They brought it, the Greeks were inside there, and then they brought it to Troy. So it's not it's not like the horse was from the Trojans. And then they start talking about the Aeneid. I like this one here. The troubles of Aeneas. No one cares. <laughs> um, let's see. There's a lot of written writing here. This this one. This one's one of my favorite pages with the writing. The dad goes, I got dibs on your Latin book. Not to fail. Got a good F U right here. Um in the shower. With the loofah. <laughs> it says, 7 o'clock, you're mine. Lol, be ready for shower time. <laughs> JK, body wash? Exfoliating? Naked? <laughs> you're the guy because you're questionable. <laughs> oh no. And then a big fat fail right here. Oh my gosh. Hmm. That's nice. I'm not sure if this is a translation of something, but it says, Comrade says, your near ship Oh, okay, I think this person is just translating. They're writing some sort of notes, because I, I can't make any sense out of what, what that says. Oh, there's Dido. Sad girl hours. You'll see after a while, they uh, stop writing in there. And I assume it's because they stopped taking Latin. <laughs> Or um, maybe they learned to stop writing in the, in the textbook. Um, let's see. What else can we read? See, sometimes we have nice art like this. <laughs> and then sometimes it's that, like, crudely drawn stuff. See, most of this is a lot of translating work, you know? It's the reading method, much like Eke Romani or um, Cambridge Latin Course. They are very similar. I think they all came out around the same time, I think around the 80s and 90s. I could be wrong. Maybe it's a little later than that. This person spent so much time drawing for a textbook <laughs> or painting because it actually looks like paint. Do you admire Hannibal? <laughs> ah, I think here. I think this person really did stop taking Latin early because I don't see anything. But this part here is something you would refer to all the time for your exercises and grammar. So you can see in the highlighting, and, and this is something that is missing from the uh, CLC, I think. Like, one section in the back where all of this stuff would be. Um, and I'm always referring to the CLC because that's what I was using when I was still learning Latin. Like, 
my early years at least. How sick would the Joker be? Why so serious, Dr. Meyer? Well, epic fail. It would be awesome. I would actually go to it and freak out. I had four already for that. You know. <laughs> cube. Yeah, I had four already for that cube. Dude, alumni has no superhero for tonight right now. Our, I don't know, wants to be super alumni. I need to, I need to, um, do something like this when I teach prepositions one day. It's the box. <laughs> in is into. In can also mean in, you know, inside of. Add to. Air, X, out of. Ara, from. That's cute. I have to remember. Memento is how they, how they, um, tell you their tips, you know, like Memento Mori. Isn't it like, remember, remember to die, or something like that? I don't even remember. It looks like I need to, uh, I need to Memento. This one. And of course this is the first book, so it doesn't go very far. I think it only goes up to um up to the uh, past tenses because I don't really I don't really see any um I don't see any like future tense things. I don't see the subjunctive anywhere. Maybe I'm I'm just blind to it. Well, at least they, uh, oh man, look at that, <laughs> death, and then of course my favorite, <laughs> I keep saying everything's my favorite here, but this one, this one really speaks to me, it sure, it sure does. What's wrong with you, my beloved? Must I buy you dirty presents and feed you strawberries in my bed? <laughs> Whips and chains. <laughs> I'll give you your engagement ring tomorrow. Well, well, doesn't this person sound like a romantic? It actually sounds like something I'd write. Oh no. Yeah, so I see when it comes to verbs, they only go up to, um, yeah. I was right. They don't. They don't talk about any of the tenses other than um, other than present. That's interesting. Oh, it's only present tense for this book. And then they're already talking about the Aeneid. I'm confused. I hope there's a person's name. Person's name here. And we have on the back. It says loser. That's me. I'm bored. I want to survive high school. <laughs> That's funny. So, that is all that I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope I got relaxed, and I hope that wasn't too, um, too annoying for you. If you came here for a serious, in-depth review of a Latin textbook, then you're not gonna get But yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you felt relaxed. I think I said that already. <laughs> my outro. And I will see you in my next video.